So today we're going to be talking about Charles's Law and its use in determining absolute zero. So Charles's Law is the relationship between the temperature and the volume of a gas. This concept relies on the variables of temperature and volume being the only ones that change while you keep constant the pressure and the number of moles involved. So by heating up and cooling down gases and balloons, Charles was able to determine that there was a linear relationship that happened between temperature and the volume of the balloon and the volume of, of gas in the balloon. This, this led him to concluding that temperature and volume are proportional to each other. Not only is this a linear relationship, but when the temperature is measured in degrees Celsius, the graph will lead to the conclusion that the absolute zero point is around 273. This is where the conversion from Celsius to Kelvin comes from. The use of this law is seen in uh, an instrument such as hot air balloons and turkey timers, but this is also why you should check your tire pressure between summer and winter and from winter to summer. So a quick way, quick experiment to show the relationship in, that's represented in Charles' law, the volume versus temperature, is you take a syringe, it can be any uh, any size, but I'm using a 10 milliliter syringe and I have, I filled it up with about five milliliters of air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a syringe in, in three different baths. So this is our cold bath right now. So this bath is around two degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let the air in there kind of get down to that temperature. So we're gonna have about two degrees, two degrees Celsius air in there. We're gonna give that a couple seconds for it to work. And then once we think that we're about ready, it should be pretty soon here, we're gonna push the plunger down and let it expand back up. So now we're gonna take our reading. So at two degrees, we're looking at about 4.4 milliliters of air. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it then in our uh, room temperature bath. So this is at 22 degrees. So we're gonna let, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna kind of depress it and let it pop back out. Do that a couple times. We're gonna look here and we got ourselves 4.7 degree or 4.7 milliliters. And then finally we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do this in our hot water. So this isn't super hot water because we don't want to melt the syringe, but it's gonna be decently hot water. We're gonna let it get up to that temperature, which right now is right about 56 degrees. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, plunge it in, let it expand back out. And right now that is 56 degrees, will be about 5.2. So let's just make sure that's, okay, that's at 55 degrees actually right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna make a graph from them. So we're gonna insert and we're gonna make a scatter plot. We're going to add a trend line and we're gonna we're gonna send it backwards. All right, so that's not bad. We've done this. I've done this a couple times. Wow, we actually got a nice r squared value of one there. So that shows that it's a quite a nice linear relationship. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our our um, x intercept there. So we're gonna go negative four point three six nine divided by point zero one five one. And so what that gives us right now a uh, yeah, x intercept of negative 289.338 degrees. So that's pretty close to what we were um, saying before in that there, um, you, there you can see easily the linear relationship that happens between them. And you can see that as, as you've moved upwards, the volume expands as our temperature gets higher. So our volume gets higher as our temperature gets higher, creates a beautiful linear relationship. I've done this probably seven times now and I've gotten very similar results, you know, sometimes above or below. One thing with this is it's not absolutely perfect, right? This, the seal on the cap here is an, is an, an ideal seal. It'd be nice to have some vacuum grease around the inside here, but you can make it more accurate, but this is kind of just a general estimate to show you that Charles' Law is indeed linear as well as can help you predict where the zero point is.